Diana the dog receives five dog biscuits for fetching each frisbee and three dog biscuits for fetching each ball. That sounds like a pretty good deal. She plans to receive at most D dog biscuits before chasing her tail. Well, that sounds reasonable. The inequality graph below represents the set of all combinations where Diana fetches F frisbees and fetches B balls in order to receive at most, at most, D dog biscuits, because at that point she reasonably starts chasing her tail. According to the graph, and we're going to take a look at the graph in a second, according to the graph, what is the most number of dog biscuits Diana wants to receive before chasing her tail? In other words, what is D? So let's look at let's interpret this graph properly. So if we look at the horizontal axis right over here, that's F, that's the number of frisbees, number of frisbees she catches. Frisbees. And this vertical axis, this is the number of balls, number of number of balls that she gets. And we know what the total number of biscuits is, are going to be. The total from catching frisbees, if she catches F frisbees, she gets five biscuits per frisbee. So the total from catching frisbees is 5F. And if she catches, if she catches B balls or retrieves B balls, so if she gets those B balls and she gets, what was it, three, three biscuits per ball? Yep, three dog biscuits for fetching each ball. The total number of dog biscuits she gets from fetching B balls is 3B. And so the total number of biscuits she fetches is 5F plus 3B. This is the number of biscuits from frisbees. This is the number of biscuits from balls. And we could see all of the allowable combinations of number of frisbees and number of balls here. And so for example, if she catches that point right over there, eight or retrieves eight balls and catches, well that would be half of a frisbee, so that doesn't, that doesn't seem to make sense. But if she, if she retrieves eight balls and, and catches one frisbee, well, then, then that's still okay. She still hasn't met her, her maximum number of biscuits yet. So how do we think about the maximum number of biscuits? Well, the mas maximum number of biscuits are any of these points when she, that are sitting on this line. And notice, the solutions, that, or all of the points that satisfy this inequality are all below this line. So she's hitting a maximum when she's on the line. And an easy one might be this point right over here, where we see that, where we see that frisbees, zero frisbees, and 10, and 10 balls pretty much maximizes her number of biscuits. So if she catches 10 balls, so let me write this down. So if b is equal to 10, b is equal to 10, let me write this, f is zero. If f is equal to zero and b is equal to 10, well how many is she going to catch? How, or how many biscuits is she going to get? Well she's going to get, this is going to be zero, and then three times 10 is 30. That's going to be 30 biscuits, 30 biscuits. So this point right over here, this corresponds with 30 biscuits. 30 biscuits. Biscuits. And you could see that any of these points along this blue line actually correspond to 30 biscuits. If you go over here, where f is 6, so let me write it here. If f is equal to 6 and b is equal to 0, so spends all of her time, she, she earns her biscuits purely through frisbee catching. So this is a situation where f is equal to six and b is equal to zero. You still have the same scenario. You still have, if f is six, five times six is 30, plus three times zero, well that's just going to be, once again, 30 biscuits. 30 biscuits. So her maximum, or the number of biscuits she needs before she starts chasing her tail is 30. So d is going to be 30. And in fact, you can express this inequality as saying 5f plus 3b has to be less than or equal to 30. All right, and then they ask us another question. Can Diana fulfill her plan by fetching, can, can Diana fulfill her plan by fetching four frisbees and two balls? So let's see, four frisbees and two balls. This is right over here, four frisbees and two balls. So it's not, we're not saying that she has to maximize, that she has to get to 30 biscuits. She just cannot not eat any more than 30 biscuits. So it seems, it seems like she can fulfill her plan. Let me see. The inequality graph below represents all the combinations where Diana fetches F frisbees and B balls in order to receive at most D dog biscuits. So let's see, is, is, is she fulfilling her plan by fetching, well yeah, I would say yes.